Hey, it's John Mark and welcome to today's lesson. I'm teaching you how to draw cartoons in one, two, three easy steps. Well, today's Friday and here's a mis mysterious <laughs> mystery little illustration that I had on my uh, YouTube channel. It is my pop art style of Captain America. So let me take you through the steps and the procedure that I do. What I did first is I did the two first steps and now I'm going to be doing the final third step with my um, Wacom pen and I'm going to be actually using a brush that kind of looks like a pencil and the point weight is number nine right now. So these are just little things that I use and then of course I have my little rotating tablet so I can rotate the picture nice and easy and then I have my hand on the space bar so if I want to actually move it left and right or zoom in and out. So it's a little bit multitasking but I'm all set because in Photoshop I have three different layers too so I'm not working on each flat layer one so I have three layers to work on. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to clean up. So let's begin the lesson and uh, I'll share some techniques again. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to zoom in a little bit more right now. Let's get a little bit more than that. Okay there we go. And I think I'm going to start on his little round nose. And what I did here in the very beginning when I create these characters, well again I didn't create them these are Marvel characters and I just create the style and the style that I created was something with a round head and then from that point on um, I made close to like 30 different ones of them and I'm, I'm adding to them right now just because a lot of people when I've gone to Comic Cons they like that and they commissioned me to do some of their own and then from that point on that's where I am currently right now you know what I gotta put my little magic glove on because it's it's getting a little warm and my hands kind of sticky I have my little blue um, mitten and if you're wondering where that is it was from Cookie Monster just got this it slides easier on my stylus right now on the Wacom and my hand is a little sticky so you may need something like that and what I just did here as you can see I cut the two fingers so I can easily feel my brush or the pen in that case all right so let's work on the eyes a little bit more Whoop. There we go. And it was something just uh, I did back the first one I did. I think actually the Captain America was my first one that I just actually did. Not knowing when I was doing it and that I had some of them on the, in the Comic Cons and a lot of people, a lot of kids came up there and like, oh, can I have a, this one, this character or this character? And I'm like, sure. And um, I went back home to the studio. I started creating a whole bunch of them again and adding on them both Marvel and DC um, a variety of different characters on there so as you can see if you go to my YouTube channel go to my community uh, location you would actually see some mystery silhouettes of uh, the ones that are coming up each Friday I'm going to come out with another video like this sh showcasing um, one of the characters and going briefly over my techniques and the character um, that I like so yeah anyways finishing up the round head I just created a round perfect head so when I ink these in I actually start in uh, Illustrator and I just use uh, the perfect circle and I just create the body I cr try to keep them about like two body high, two circle should I say two circle high and then sometimes some of the characters might be a little bit different due to the shapes of their bodies and so forth. But for the most part, I try to keep and maintain that circle head. Some characters are kind of interesting and may not fill that void, but for the most part, I try to. I would love to see some of your styles and uh, your uh, techniques in uh, creating these characters, these classic old ones. And why did I do Captain America first? I'm not so sure, but maybe it was influenced by the uh, the Captain America uh, movies that were out there. Those were the very first ones that I was implied that I liked a lot. And maybe I just like that old time period, 1940, uh, how he where he was during World War II. Kind of reminds me of when my father was growing up. He was growing up in Switzerland, and he actually lived through that war. He was born in 1929 and he actually saw a lot of airplanes crash in Switzerland where he was because that's one area that the Germans never occupied during World War II. A little country called Switzerland. And uh, it was kind of neat some of the stories. Some of the stories were 
a lot of times when the planes crashed, the American planes, and um, they came running, the, my father and some of the kids came running to, um, to help. And when they were helping them out there, they came out there asking for chocolate, chocolate, because they love the Swiss chocolate. The kids back in Europe, they didn't have what we have nowadays, gum. They didn't. So they always say cow gummy, cow gummy, which is in Swiss, is um, chewing gum. So if they had it, they kind of swap gum for chocolate. I don't know who won, in my opinion. I think they're both good. <laughs> anyway, so that was something that was kind of neat hearing those stories during there. So maybe that's why this character has a little bit more of a, a shine to me of uh, remembering my father's past when he was growing up during that time period. Watching the movie was kind of neat when they're going through uh, the special effects. Anyway, so when I create these characters, I kind of look at some of the old um, comic books that are helpful and maybe some of their uh, costumes that they were wearing. So definitely, definitely when you're working on these little conceptual ideas or style guides from previous um, model sheets from other companies like, like those little Captain America, you may need to get some references. Uh, you can't do everything off the top of your head. I can't remember everything. So references are really key. And where do you get references on the internet or books or, of course, from uh, comic books? That's something very easy to do. So you can look at even some of their poses and some of their classic poses on the covers. Take that style of that action pose and turn into your style with that. I would, that would be a real, real cool thing to see. Uh, and feel free to email me or even post them on my comments, some of your pictures. And um, I would love to um, answer any question. And also, if you have a particular favorite style character that you would like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I have one of my little kitty stopped in. <laughs> if you have a particular style of um, character that you like, um, send me a message. And maybe I have it, maybe I don't. If I don't, maybe I'll put it into one of the lessons. Anyway, so I apologize for that interruption with my little kitty. That's one thing, having cats, they just love jumping in whenever they want to. All right, let's get back to finishing this up. As you can see, I'm just almost like following the shape of it, of the uh, entire character from going one area to one area. Again, you can start wherever you want to. The circle is going to be a little bit loose. And if I did that circle, it would be all done. As you can see, the circle was done in Illustrator using the vector line. So I got a true oval and they're nice and clean, nice and clean. So this, these uh, lines here that I'm gonna be doing with the circle with the shield and, and uh, Captain America's head, it's not gonna be perfectly uh, like a circle, but it's okay because then it would, again, like what I did is I took it into Illustrator that had the, the perfect shape. Same thing. So let me work on that star here. Okay, that star. That shield is really cool. I like the colors that they have chosen. And of course it's red, white, and blue because it's America, USA. Alright. Here we go, finishing up that little star. And now I'm just going to try to work on those, that circle, that all the way around. And just loosely go again. This is something that you may want to take a protractor on or... Uh, if you're doing like traditional comic book pages where you don't have Illustrator to easily to create that, you may want to make sure you get that those circles or ovals in this case really, really, really nice and sweet and tight. Because you don't want to have those little jiggity lines. Those jiggity lines. Listen to me. All right. And just about done with this one. And then from the next week, just, just remember, because um, every Friday I'm going to come out with a new one. Not so sure which one the next one is. Again, go to my YouTube channel, and you'll see in the community page, and you'll see a silhouette with question marks inside them. And each one will be uh, noted when they're coming out. So I have several of them up there right now. I think it's all the way to like the mid-October, I think I already have them up. So you can actually see which lessons are going to be coming out thereafter just about done with this one see it doesn't take that long to do the final step but the initial one can take a couple hours to days to come up with a style or the shape that you would want to um, have the uh, your character in so this one here in the very beginning 
probably took me several different tries to come down to since it was my first one. And it wasn't just like, snap, it's done. The first one never happens, never happens. Very rare. It can, but very rare. So sometimes you have to come back and forth to it then. All right, so here we go with the final look of how he looks on that. There you go. He's all done to the final step. I think it looks good. Yeah, I'm all set. So thanks for checking out this video and make sure you come back next Friday to see the surprise character. All right, thanks for watching again. Have a great day. Oh, <laughs>